Speaking of Pac, right, what was the situation at the social wars where Pac, he made somebody in Q-Tip crew cry? I mean, I mean, listen, man, we was at the 94 Source Awards and, you know, this is the first Source Awards. Bernie Mac hosting it. The lights are going on and off. It's all kind of crazy shit. It was our first one. And we in the Paramount Theater inside Madison Square Garden. And um, it's crazy because the, the, the sound man is the one that plays all the music. So everything, you know, there's a script on what he has to play and when he has to play it. And, you know, it's pretty much has to be on time. Of course it wasn't, but try to get as close as possible. So I just remember when Q-Tip went up there and he's talking, you know, Q-Tip got that soft, subtle kind of voice. You know, he, he actually talks the way he raps and shit, like, you know, like, you know, I like to think, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And next thing you know, man, Pac just grabbed this nigga's mic. I don't know, Bill. I said, oh man, like the most, when you think about it now, and this is kind of a new twist I'm putting on it, the amazing Q-Tip, because Q-Tip and Tribe Called Crest, re Tribe Called Quest, rest in peace to Five Dog. One of our legendary rap groups, bar none. Original because of the voice of Q-Tip. His voice is so, you know what I'm saying? But and then Pop, yo! So it was like two contrasts, like, like the real subtle, there comes the wild, and it just took and just did out on Bill. And he came up there with all of the outlaws, the ones that have passed away. Um, um, Hussein, Hussein was up there, rest in peace to Hussein. Gaddafi was up there, rest in peace to Gaddafi. Big Psych was up there, out on Bill, he was up there. Like, think about it, and Pop, all four of those guys. We're all on stage, ain't, ain't with us now for that moment right there. He must have kind of like took over the sound, man, because we've done that before. I remember the RSO used to just, if they didn't let us rock, yo, Hawk, go get the sound, man. They just put the sound, man, in the, in the pretzel for a minute, put the music in there, play our shit, take the music, I'll take them out the pretzel, and then everything good. That's probably what happened to our sound, man, at the source was. I don't remember who he was, but I'm sure he was under... A lot of stress with Pac and them when they put out on bail. And Pac went up there, did out on bail. And I was on the side where you walk in from the side of the stage. And I remember Chris Lighty, rest in peace, he was up there. And so, you know, a lot of people from that moment, Fife, Chris Lighty, all the, the outlaws, Pac, think about it. That's like six, seven people in that moment of both groups that ain't even here no more. And then, then another twist was on it was like Pac did that because of the Janet Jackson situation with Q-Tip and Janet, and I never even knew about it. I was like, damn, maybe. But I just remember they came back and one of them was crying. Uh, he was pissed off, man. And I just was standing there looking, you know, they didn't say nothing to me or whatever. It was just, you know what I'm saying? Because, man, I was like, once he did, I'm like, I'm on the side of them like, yeah, yeah. Then when they came, I was like, you know what I'm saying? I, was about to, I didn't want to like, you know what I'm saying? It was just a fucked up moment, but it was a dope moment. So it's hip hop. Damn, man, they was backstage crying. What was they saying, yo? One of them was crying. I remember Chris Lighty was holding on to, I think it was the DJ, and he was holding on to him, the DJ producer, Ali Shai, I think. And he was just crying. He was bad. It was, you know, it was like they was upset. You know what I'm saying? I, I seen it. They just walked right past me, and that was it. He was out on bail, too. <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> he was out on bail. The following year, the 95 one, he actually w was in jail. So, you know. But my thing is this. It's a clip of Tupac with a red hat to the back, and he's in the back drinking water or whatever, talking. Yeah. Why they didn't confront interviewed. him? They were scared? They, they didn't confront him. And not only the Biggie was there, too. That's what was so crazy. Like, Biggie and Pac was in the building that night. It was no problems. That East West Coast shit really didn't, wasn't going down right then. You know what I'm saying? East Coast, West Coast thing. And remember, Pac came in there with a bunch of Newark niggas. He wasn't really even with L.A. niggas like that. You know, yet, yeah. you know what I'm saying? A lot of, a lot of, a lot of um, outlaws were from Jersey. Shout out to, you know what I'm saying, Muta. Shout out to Edie. Yeah, shout out to all my guys, man. For real, man. Those, those are all my guys, man. I got songs with all of them. I got songs with Pop in the studio. I did songs with all of the outlaws in the studio. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm blessed.